بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Our lecture cardiac disease in pregnancy Although pregnancy is complicated by significant heart disease are rare but to name the leading cause of maternal death about 2.1 uh, per 100,000 maternity this is the UK epidemiology the major cause of death cardiomyopathy myocardial infarction ischemic heart disease dissection of the thoracic aorta and sudden adult death syndrome if you look to the cause uh, most of them acquired there is certain cardiovascular changes in the pregnancy to adapt the demand of the fetus placental uh, function and the increase in the maternal demand or supplement of energy during pregnancy plasma volume increase stroke volume increase heart rate increase this is related to the increase in the cardiac output about 40 percent decrease in the systemic vascular resistance this is make patient more prone to develop edema this result in fur, th uh, full in the hematocrit and the plasma osmolarity so edema may dissipate easily during labor uterine contraction shift up to uh, 500 ml of blood to the central circulation due to the uterine contraction though this is lead to more increase in the stroke volume and cardiac output in addition to the labor pain which is a stressful factor also associated with an increase in the heart rate and accompanied by an increase in the cardiac output all that make the heart at risk of developing heart failure after delivery more increase in the cardiac output due to the release of the compression of the inferior vena cava by gravid uterus so this is also an increase in the uh, and shifted of the extravascular fluid which is accumulated during pregnancy shifted to the intravascular this is make more and more increase in the cardiac output and the intravascular compartment all these significant hemodynamic make a stress to the patient with heart disease so if the patient complains of severe heart disease this is maybe threatened her life this is diagram show the surgical changes as we mentioned and at the pulmonary capillary wedge pressure no changes systemic vascular resistance decreased 25 to 30 percent in addition to the decrease in the CRM colloid osmotic pressure there is certain physiological or regarding as a physiological finding in pregnancy when there is an increase in the heart rate so the patient may complain of palpitation easy fatigability shortness of breath which is very common seen in pregnant ladies so not all women with significant heart disease are able to meet this increase in the physiological demand may worse their condition and may threaten their life so many women with cardiac disease especially in case of congenital heart disease may prone to uh, do surgery before get pregnant or with certain evaluation and make the patient with low risk to prevent the mortality and the morbidity which is maybe precipitated by pregnancy on examination of pregnant lady with normal pregnancy we uh, may see sometime which is regarding as normal or as a part of physiological changes we when ascultate the uh, pregnant lady chest may uh, heard the first heart sound loud exaggerated there is splitting of the second heart sound and may hear the physiological third heart sound at the abyss systolic ejection murmur at the left sternal, sternal edge may be ascultated pulse bounding in addition to the ectopically and uh, uh, plus ankle edema which is uh, explain the increase in cardiac output and decrease in the peripheral resistance of accumulation of fluid is easily about 80 percent of a pregnant lady may complain or uh, suffering from uh, swelling of the 
uh, ankle. In addition to the symptom and sign, which is maybe seen normal or regarding as a part of normal due to the physiological changes, we may or may elicit the certain uh, changes in the ECG. Partly related to the position of the heart and the uh, swelling or growth of the uterine size, which is may make some changes. Uh, in addition to that, there is arterial or ventricular effects, which is most common seen in the pregnant lady, due to the gravid uterus shifting of the QRS to the left, may see Q, small Q, and inverted T in the lead three, ST segment depression and T wave inversion in the inferior and lateral chest lead. So all that may hidden certain cardiac disease which is may arise only in pregnancy. The patient already not in the any complaint regarding the heart or there is no any problem. But when she gets pregnant, may some cardiac disease manifested at first time. But symptom which is normally uh, finding normal finding in the uh, pregnant lady just fatigue. Reduce in the exercise tolerance, uh, peripheral edema, distension of the neck vein, and ejection system of normal, which is regarding normal finding in pregnancy. But under circum cer certain circumstances, this is maybe as a manifestation of heart disease. So a patient with this symptom, which exaggerated, or if the patient get pregnant second or third time and complaining of excessive symptom, so, uh, arrange the patient for echocardiography to assess the cardiac structure and function. Not neglect them. Look and hear their complaint. It is normal or more than normal, and you can judge and evaluate this lady. So there are certain criteria to diagnosis of heart disease, especially during pregnancy. If patients have negative cardiac disease history before pregnancy, if we hear diastolic murmur, any diastolic murmur it is abnormal. Unequivocal enlargement of the heart. You do X-ray for any reason, and you see there is uh, discrepancy in the enlargement of the heart. Patient presented with severe arrhythmia. So it is indication for more uh, investigation to detect the heart problem. Any lady with heart disease ask you to get pregnant, you should counsel her. You explain to her the risk of maternal death. This lady, if goes in pregnancy, may end it with death or increase morbidity. A patient with repeated pregnancy, this is may lead to the reduce the maternal life expectancy. This is burden the heart, make more risk and may and early. Effect of pregnancy on the cardiac disease. All the physiological changes may harmful the heart. Risk of fetal congenital heart disease. We normally uh, see many, many lady with uh, uh, delivered uh, fetus with heart, ba baby with heart disease, but this risk increase, especially if both parents had a cardiac disease. Risk of a preterm labor and fetal growth restriction, especially in patients which get dizzy, tired. Le this lady with heart disease may need more or frequent hospitalization due to the deterioration in their condition. Intensive fetal and maternal monitoring during labor, this is regarded as high pregnancy, so the frequent visit and more attention to be given to this lady. If the patient cannot get pregnant, so the patient, uh, uh, there is a certain condition, as uh, see later, uh, pregnancy contraindication in patient with cardiac disease, so advise the patient to get uh, contraception. If patient nilipara, she can adapt baby or surrogacy. Timing of a pregnancy should be well at the time of well maintenance of the normal heart function. Any medical intervention or surgical treatment should be done before pregnancy 
if there is improvement in the uh, patient's life or patient condition. In certain circumstances, the pregnancy contraindicated do not allow the patient to get, get pregnant. If the patient diagnosed with heart disease in addition to the pulmonary hypertension, increase in the pulmonary uh, pressure to prevent the lady to get pregnant. When there is systemic ventricular dysfunction for many any cause, Eje when the ejection fraction less than 30%, prevent the patient to get pregnant. Dilatation of the aortic root, if it is more, the, it, it is more than 4 cm, left heart obstruction lesion in case of the aortic or mitral stenosis when the diameter of the valve less than 1 centi uh, cubic centimeter. Patient with ischemic heart disease, especially recently, get ischemic heart disease like uh, myocardial infarction. So, yani mostly one, six to one year, avoid the pregnancy. A previous prepartum cardiomyopathy, uh, which ha had high chance of recurrent. Patient with cyanotic uh, heart disease, when the arterial oxygen saturation less than 80, this is may uh, patient complaining of hypoxia, this may uh, cross or uh, reflect this hypoxia to the baby in addition to the mother life. When uh, New York criteria classification, class 4 or f uh, 3 or 4, in, in patient with a prostatic heart valve, especially metallic type. This is the New York, New York Heart Association uh, criteria or classification. Class 1, patient free of any symptom. Class 2, mild symptom and a, sli a slight limitation of the ordinary activity. Uh, class 3, mark limitation of the activity due to the symptom, even less than or or ordinary activity. Only comfortable at rest. If the patient get any exercise, she gets this rest. L class 4, severe limitation. Even the patient at rest, exaggerated the symptom and dyspneic. When the patient gets, you optimize the patient condition and patient gets pregnant. Should be managed by multidisciplinary team. Physici physician, and if cardiologist available, it is better. And in addition to the obstetrician, in addition to the nurse, experience in the heart disease, should be in the tertiary center. Patient with heart disease not managed in the ordinary antenatal care. This is we should be shifted to the tertiary center with all facility or investigation of investigation and treatment of the patient with heart disease. Continuous care and repeated visit. Patient may need to visit you every two weeks to detect or early detection any sign or symptom of heart failure. Physical examination should include pulse rate, blood pressure, JVP, ankle and sacral edema, presence of basal crepitations. All that should be evaluated when the patient visits you. Echocardiography may be need serial more than one to evaluate the function of the heart. Especially, usually, the patient with medical disease evaluated at booking and 28 weeks. We search for anemia, hypertension, diabetes. This is the optimal time to evaluate the patient. In addition to the, sometimes we need more than. I need a patient cardio echography, a cell with a booking, a cell with a 28 week. Advise the patient to get enough bed rest and the serial maternal assessment of the symptom, examination. ECG and ECO may need more than one if the patient deteriorated of the patient complaining of certain or there is certain disease which is need more frequent evaluation. Anticoagulant essential for the patient with heart disease, especially in patients with uh, congenital heart disease or who have pulmonary hypertension. Patient with artificial valve replacement should be anticoagulant or any patient who is at risk of arterial fibrillation.
This is deposition of a clot at the atrial fibrillation elaboration of the thrombus, and patient way may end with disaster. There is a question, warfarin has certain side uh, congenital anomaly. So many advise to stop warfarin during early pregnancy, shift it to heparin or low molecular weight heparin, and then started after 12 weeks, return to the warfarin because the efficacy of warfarin more than the low molecular weight to prevent coagulation. Any complication arising with the heart disease like hypertension, diabetes, obesity, smoking should be stopped. In addition to the supplement, the patient with 5 mg folic acid, which is regarded as high risk pregnancy, so supplement them with folic acid. In addition to the maternal risk in patients with heart disease, there is certain risk to the fetus. Uh, مثل ما قلنا قبل شوية إنه patient with heart disease their offspring more liable to get congenital heart disease more than the other population. In patients with cyanosis, fetal hypoxia, fetal growth restriction may be seen or listed in the patient in fetus of mother with cardiac disease. Sometimes we need to end the pregnancy due to the certain severe complication arising in the mother. So there is iatrogenic of a prematurity. You, as a doctor, induce the labor to end the pregnancy if it is threatening the mother life. In addition to the uh, drugs which is given by the mother, some drug has teratogenicity, and some it is safe, but uh, there is risk of growth restriction, like uh, beta blocker drug. Oh, some drugs may end with fetal loss, may cause fetal loss because of their harmful effect. Any patient with cardiac disease will investigate her, or as we see, as we see in the previous uh, slide, in the booking and at 28 week in addition to the repeated investigation if indicated. ECG, chest X-ray can be performed, low no dose of radiation, so not affect the fetus. The troponin, which is diagnostic of uh, any ischemic heart disease, it is not changing pregnancy, so we can depend on it. The echocardiography, can we done it e without any harmful effect, uh, as trans uh, thoracic or transesophageal, no harmful. MRI, if you need to evaluate certain structural heart disease by MRI. And CT sometime, if uh, indicated. You evaluate your patient, give it good, good antenatal care, and you reach the labor. Preferable in patients with cardiac disease to wait spontaneous labor because induction of labor, more shifting of the uh, fluid, more shifting of blood to the uh, heart, and increase the cardiac output, this may precipitate heart failure. L any intervention should be minimized. So we think or uh, your orientation should be toward spontaneous vaginal delivery. If there is certain indication, obstetric indication for uh, induction, you also may you g uh, yeah, any, uh, put certain uh, strategy to deliver the lady. Epidural anesthesia to reduce the pain, there is no any harmful for perform epidural in patients with cardiac disease, but you should put in your mind uh, hypotension, which is a risk of regional anesthesia, so ensure fluid balance. No more fluid, no less fluid. Prophylactic antibiotic for any woman with structural heart defect to reduce the effect or reduce the risk of endometritis. Oxygen saturation should be monitored. Blood pressure should be monitored. Pulse rate in addition to respiratory rate continuous monitoring of vital signs. You can give any antibiotic, preferable to give ampicillin, 2 gram, IV, in addition to the gentamicin. And uh, after delivery, after 8 hours, you can give the second dose, 
if the patient is sensitive or allergic to penicillin, we can give her vancomycin. Any antibiotic available. There is no strict use of antibiotic, as the center put certain strategy for use of antibiotic. In patients with heart disease, ilia manage in uh, lateral position to avoid the hypotension and uh, avoid fluid overload. Oh, some obstetrician advised the shortening of the second stage. Some the obstetrician perform elective forceps or ventral delivery. But this if there is delay or prolonged second stage. With normal duration of uh, second stage, no need for such intervention. Some uh, say if there is pushing, this is require yeah, increasing the cardiac output, so more burden the mother life. So they shift it to the elective forceps or ventral delivery. Caesarean section done only for obstetric indication. If the patient has breach or fetal distress, or patient had three or four previous section, so we shifted to the cesarean section as obstetrical cause. Not do cesarean section due to the heart disease. Just if there is obstetric indication, so shifted to the cesarean section. Active management of the third stage of labor only by oxytocin. Avoid ergometry. Avoid ergometry if it's contraindicated because cause more vasoconstriction, more, more hypertension may precipitate heart failure. So only oxytocin. Brostaglandin can be used if patient develop any complication. Otherwise, if the patient normal, so only oxytocin in the management of the third stage. Avoid ergometry. After delivery or during delivery after labor, you advise the patient to get contraception. Usually, oral contraception associated with high risk of thromboembolism and patients with heart disease more prone for thromboembolism. So, advise the patient to avoid contraception. Intrauterine uh, contraceptive device may cause infection, not always, but may be lead to the endocarditis, so it is not for first choice. Barrier had high risk of failure. So progesterone only pulse, long acting bro injectable progesterone, better. Lo with low risk of uh, thromboembolic and there is no risk of infection. You give the patient either medroxyprogesterone if safe every three months, norethysterone not, av not available in the market and not used nowadays. A best uh, contraception is sterilization. If the patient complete her family, or if there is certain condition threatening the mother life, there is contra, con, uh, absolute contraindication to get a pregnant, so ca you can shift it to the sterilization better. As you do in the from the medicine, the cardiac disease classified as a, a, a congenital heart disease and acquired heart disease. Nowadays we see less patients with congenital heart disease early correction and some uh, do select the termination of pregnancy so not see widely either uh, ventricular defect or arterial septal defect correctation of the aorta and tetralogy of the aorta it's all uh, associated with a small, small risk accommodate risk lesion ileal transposition of great vessel Cyanotic heart disease with or without, pulmon without pulmonary hypertension. High risk, a patient with pulmonary vascular resistance or vascular disease. And patients with Marfan syndrome, if the aortic heart dilatation more than 4 cm. This is regarding the congenital heart disease. Second part or second classification, it is acquired heart disease. Especially valvular heart disease, ischemic heart disease, and patients with cardiac arrhythmia and cardiomyopathy. This is uh, related to the pregnancy or arising during pregnancy or after yeah, in the perperium. Per here prepartum cardiomyopathy. It is a form of uh, dilatation of the 
dilate cardiomyopathy may be beginning during the last trimester or within six weeks after delivery, with or without the prior heart disease. Patient may have second attack or patient may precipitate first beat with pre-partum cardiomyopathy. The cause on unknown, but something is due to the cardiac injury as immunological mediated. Se elaboration of certain immune substance during pregnancy may injure the cardiac muscle and end with cardiomyopathy. Symptom and sign that of congestive heart failure. Patient get dyspnea, hypopnea. In addition to the chest pain, you do uh, echocardiography to assess and see the size and degree of ventricular dysfunction. The outcome variable. My patient may pass smoothly or may end with the death or progress to heart failure. Sometimes uh, we uh, yeah, patients end with complete recovery of ventricular function, but recurrence is possible. So you advise the patient that gets cardiomyopathy or silmet finhe or mamatet that have a marathon. Uh, as we uh, say, it is a mimic congestive heart failure, so the treatment that of heart failure, which is include vasodilatation, vasodilatory substance is, uh, like hydralazine, digoxin, in addition to the diuretic. Beta blocker uh, should be continued or started in a pregnancy for women with symptom. If patient has symptom, and had previous history of cardiomyopathy. No sahita matam at hachi kurjat hibdat maratani. So start her with on or put her on the beta blocker. Care required for general or regional anesthesia or analgesia to avoid hypotension. Which is a consequence of increase in the left ventricular outflow tract obstruction. Due to the hyperatrophy of the cardiac muscle. Other type hyperatrophic cardiomyopathy, where 70% of cases are familiar, had history of or family history of a hyperatrophic cardiomyopathy, which is autosomal dominant inheritance, associated with high risk of sudden death. Usually, such a uh, member of the family die early. Most of them not reach 40 or 35. Usually, with the 20s, they die. This patient may get pregnant with hyperatrophic cardiomyopathy. Most of the patients are symptomatic. So just follow up and uh, close monitoring to detect any complication in addition to the thromboprophylaxis. Some shifted to the immune suppressor, but it is not considered of no value. This is in general, patient with heart disease, you can manage her as we mentioned. And there is some issue or some subject you should know something about them, which is a part of congenital or acquired heart disease. One of them, mitral valve prolapse. One or both, mitral valve leaf. Leaflet may be prolapsed or prolapsed into the left artery. This leaf of the mitral valve prolapsed in the atrium during systole. About 21% of population we may diagnose with mitral valve prolapse. In the women more than in the men. It may be inherited. Some say acquired. There is no definitive cause in such condition. Patient may uh, discover accidentally with no any symptom. Sometimes excessive fatigue, palpitation, syncopal or chest pain. When you auscultate the heart, you may hear mid systolic click plus mid to late systolic murmur. Echocardiograph 
ground structure should not be should not be prolapsing of the mitral valve to the left atria. This condition may pass smoothly and patient get get patient get, get pregnant and delivered without any complication, or may get complication, like mitral regurgitation. This valve more weakness and end with mitral regurgitation, especially if the patient get old and older than 45 years. Arrhythmia come and see in this condition, especially SVT. This valve regarding abnormal, so it is more prone to the stick of the bacteria, certain bacteria and development of endocarditis. This is maybe thrombotic deposit in this site, so elaboration of thrombus may end with cerebral ischemia and sudden death. You should confirm this mitral regurgitation by echocardiogram. If there is any need for surgical correction in case of severe mitral regurgitation should be corrected before pregnancy. In addition to the observation of arrhythmia, it may give the patient digoxin or beta blocker to prevent arrhythmia. Arrhythmia, it is a cause of laboration or dissemination of a thrombus. This is may end with heart or uh, center nervous system stroke. Mitral valve may get stenodes, secondary to the rheumatic heart disease, frequently occur in young age of uh, childbearing, may be asymptomatic, patient presented with nothing and you, uh, by examination you discover mitral stenosis, or may get dyspnea, orthopnea, paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea, protective, protective cuff, pink, throaty sputum, or sometimes hemoptysis. On exertion, patient gets tachycardia, reduce in the time of left arterial empty during diastole. This is due to the left arterial pressure increase and which is give back pressure to the pulmonary and end with pulmonary edema. Patient with mitral valve prolapse, mitral uh, stenosis, this is the typical facial appearance of patient with mitral valve prolapse, tapping and displays a big speed by uh, when you palpate the chest. There is sinus rhythm but risk of arterial flutter or fibrillation may be arises. First heart sound loud, loud pulmonary second heart sound in addition to the opening stand. This is maybe auscultated in the heart. Low pitched mid diastolic thrum. The uh, patient may woman may be deteriorated due to the pain and anxiety or exercise or infection. So tachycardia may develop arrhythmia and increase or the of the cardiac output. This may lead to the deterioration in the mother condition. Deterioration may end with congestive heart failure. Pulmonary edema may be precipitated during third stage of labor when there is more shifting of the blood to the intravascular or to the circulation. In addition to the bad management with the fluids, if you give more fluid, may precipitate a heart failure. Easy diagnosis by in addition to the history and examination, ECG, chest x-ray, in addition to the echocardiogram to confirm the diagnosis. You manage the patient as we mention patients with heart disease antenatally, postnatally. In addition to evaluation of the patient condition and the function capacity and severity of the valve obstructed with severe, you saw prevent the patient to get pregnant. Or at least you correct the stenosis before conception. Avoid excessive fluids. Avoid supine and lithotomy position and may precipitate hypotension and burden the heart. The aim of the treatment to reduce the heart rate and achieve through bed rest and beta blocker. Beta blocker decrease the heart rate, increase the diastolic filling time and decrease the risk of pulmonary edema. Oh, sometime we need to add 
die out of it. As patient develop pulmonary edema, it's treated as a heart failure. Oxygen, slow the heart rate by dimorphine. In addition to the 20 milligram IV fluid, uh, IV plus amide, uh, diuretic. Digoxin, if the patient develop arterial fibrillation. Sometimes uh, the valve stenosis so uh, much, so may shift it to the valve bottom. This is preferable to then after delivery, but sometimes we consider it in during pregnancy if there is more development or there is a risk of development of pulmonary edema. And this is evaluated with gestational age. P can perform in the second and early third trimester. This is the picture of mitral valve stenosis. Dilatation of the atria. Small amount of blood shifted to the ventricle. This is accumulation increased to the lead to an increase in pressure in the atria. And this is reflex or associated with decrease in the pulmonary and accumulation of the fluids in the chest. This is anything with pulmonary edema. This is the picture, small heart, small long heart. Aortic stenosis. Aortic stenosis in pregnant women is usually congenital in origin. Patients may complain of severe outflow obstruction and may develop angina or heart failure during pregnancy as a cardiac output increase, so cannot accommodate. So we uh, manage the patient, advise her for bed rest, prevention of the hypovolemia for any cause, and the drug to reduce the heart rate and to allow time for ventricular filling. If not control, so we shift it to the balloon, vulvotomy, or surgery. This is the picture of aortic valve stenosis. Marfan syndrome is an autosomal dominant connective tissue abnormality that may lead to the mitral valve prolapse and aortic regurgitation or our in addition to the aortic root dilatation and aortic rupture or dissection with sudden death. Pregnant women with Marfan syndrome at high risk of aortic dissection or rupture. So uh, measurement of the aortic root dilatation will be greater than four millimeter this is an, a contraindication for pregnancy. If less, so we, uh, when patient gets pregnant with frequent antenatal care and frequent monitoring of the patient with a restriction of certain physical activity, in addition to the beta blocker to help uh, the patient to get safe time in pregnancy and end with delivery. Congenital heart disease, na heart disease nowadays, very uh, small patient complaining of congenital heart disease, most of them corrected. If uncomplicated arterial or ventricular septal defect is associated with, pul not associated with the pulmonary hypertension, this is regarding as a uh, low risk and patient can tolerate pregnancy. There is no any harmful. If the patient has large septal or uh, septal defect, this is made arrange the patient for correction, especially early in childhood. So patient will reach the childbearing age, it is free of this defect. One of the contraindications of uh, patient to get pregnant, patient with pulmonary hypertension. Because it is associated with high maternal mortality rate during pregnancy, may reach 40%. As a result of an increase in the right to left shunting and worsening oxygen, desaturation of the blood. So these women, it is contraindicated to get pregnant. Uh, some patients may complaining of stenotic or regurgitation or damaged valve 
and they end with prostatic uh, heart valve and there is two type of uh, either biological or uh, metallic type usually patients with metallic type avoid the pregnancy during patients with metallic valve replacement at high risk of thrombosis anticoagulant is essential in patient with uh, congenital or with the prostatic valve uh, some school of the cardiologists maintain the patient on the marfarin even if it is keratogenic but to protect the mother life even the first uh, three uh, months not shifted to the uh, low molecular weight heparin or to the heparin because of high risk of thrombosis so so some make the patient continue on the warfarin some shifted to the uh, heparin and after ending of first trimester return to the warfarin uh, a patient or some uh, authorities or some uh, cardiologists uh, put the patient on warfarin until delivery and after delivery shift to pass the area or the time of postpartum especially to prevent postpartum hemorrhage and shift it to the warfarin so many school and uh, coagulate the patient with prostatic valve ischemic heart disease in the form of myocardial infection during pregnancy it is about 1 in 10,000 in 1 to 5,000 with peak incidence with third trimester usually paras patient or peas older than 35 but the underlying pathology is not known as any uh, myocardial infarction arising at any age especially nowadays we see myocardial infarction in the young age not like the previous time which is only old age suffering from myocardial infarction the stress of the life lifestyle changes increase obesity increase in the stress all that precipitate the myocardial infarction usually not atherosclerosis yani there is no atherosclerosis changes in the vessel of the heart to precipitate myocardial infarction usually due to the dissection of the coronary artery or thrombosis the primary cause of myocardial infarction in a pregnant lady due to the either dissection of the coronary or thrombosis which is seen by postmortem thrombosis usually will perperium when patient deliver increase the risk of thrombosis when patient get uh, mi due to thrombotic changes this is the life threatening condition sometimes seen in pregnant lady uh, heart failure there is some uh, risk factor which is make the patient more prone to develop heart failure either during labor or immediately after labor infection severe infection systemic or local infection severe and it uh, lead to the f uh, heart failure severe anemia untreated obesity patient with twin or more than uh, order of uh, fetus number hypertension especially patient with health or patient with pulmonary edema so secondary to the uh, uh, hypertension complication may pa patient may develop heart failure hyperthyroidism patient arrhythmia patient on corticosteroid may be to develop patient especially patient with a preterm labor when give her high dose of tocolytic and corticosteroid combination may precipitate heart failure sometimes pain related stress or fluid overload patient get mild APH or mild PBH and you uh, give her more fluid or even blood may you precipitate heart failure the principle of treatment of patient with heart failure same as a non-pregnant lady started with you confirm diagnosis by clinical hist yeah, by history and examination any sign of heart failure and then by echo you give her diuretic, rest, oxygen, diuretic, vasodilator, and vasodilator substance in addition to the morphine. If arrhythmia arises, you should treat it. Adenosine in case of uh, SVT. 
selective beta blocker in addition if the patient not get delivered still on pregnancy we should assess the fetal uh, viability and fetal growth if uh, fetal distress or patient goes in severe heart failure so you should deliver this baby thank you